Hey, we're back with Resolve Reptiles. This is little Elbies, if you haven't met her before. Uh, so I'm here to tell you today that hell has officially frozen over. I'm actually defending Liam Sinclair, which you probably already know I've made fun of him a bunch of times. Uh, he's said some things that are completely ridiculous, just inarguably completely ridiculous. I don't particularly like him. He runs after other creators all the time. He's definitely not somebody that I enjoy watching on my own. Uh, anyway, so apparently one of his videos were flagged, which of course I'm not going to go and find any sort of, you know, whatever the video was. But I know that it involved putting some roaches inside of a solo cup, dusting them and preparing them in a way to feed them to, you know, another reptile, of course. So do I think he's an animal abuser? No. Do I think he does some super questionable things? Of course, if you want an example, there was a time where he was feeding a ball python to a king snake or something along those lines. And uh, basically the things that he said made no sense. I mean, obviously those two animals don't coexist. Uh, he said things like it died of natural causes. How they verified that was never revealed. I don't think they did. He suggested that freezing it would have gotten rid of any of the pathogens anyway, which is absolutely not true, uh, especially for just a limited amount of time it was frozen. Things like that, you could argue, okay, well, that's a little bit dangerous. Definitely not animal abuse. Is putting roaches in a cup animal abuse? Absolutely not. So as I mentioned, hell has officially frozen over because I am defending Liam Sinclair and saying that his video should go back up. There is absolutely no reason this should have ever been flagged. There is so much worse content out there, uh, but it is an opportunity to talk about things like people in the hobby claiming that animals are uh, being abused or not being taken care of correctly. People like to make claims about Elby here. Most people haven't even seen a Cayman li lizard, much less kept one for over six years. That's how long I've had this little girl. Uh, I grabbed her today because she does have a little bit of shed on her arms, right? She's got a little bit of, oh, my green screen kicked in and she's green. But anyway, she's got, you can see some of the little orange, orange shed skin going on. You can see her sides is a much uh, different color. So there's been times where I've shown her off and people will immediately say, oh, well, that animal's dehydrated. She hasn't shed correctly. That is insane. She lives, she lives in a little water setup. She has a whole water feature that she can emerge, bleh, she can submerge her entire body. There is no way that she could possibly be dehydrated. And there is no way that anybody making those claims has ever even seen one of these animals, much less watch any other lizard shed. Oh, I am going to have claw marks all over me. Thanks. Thanks so much. Um, there's been other instances where I've said that I've had to file down a fingernail or so. Well, claw. But I like to call them fingernails because LB's a good person, right? Uh, and in those instances, people will call that animal abuse. They'll claim that, oh, well, if you have a terrestrial animal, uh, then, you know, you have to provide rocks for them to walk over. And if you have an arboreal animal, then you should have some sort of hardwood or something like that, that uh, they can file their fingernails down on. That is absolutely true. That's absolutely true. However, however, if you've ever dealt with large animals like Elby, or if you've ever dealt with any animal that is truly arboreal, then you will know sometimes, sometimes they may splinter a claw. Sometimes they may just have one that's a little longer than the others. And LB is an animal that I handle pretty often. If she's got a claw that happens to be splintered, or if she's got one that's a little bit longer than the others, then it's reasonable to go ahead and trim that. There's no reason to call that animal abuse, and it's clear that somebody has never bothered to work with something like monitors or caiman lizards or anything like that if they make that complaint. This is typical animal maintenance. This is the same thing that you would do with a dog or a cat if they have, you know, a long dew claw or something along those lines. Uh, this is the same thing that you might do with something like an iguana or even a blue tongue skink. If their nails get a little bit long, a little bit sharp, you go ahead, you trim that, you file that off. Bearded dragons, you can clip off the end. Is it ideal that they perfectly file all of their claws uh, by themselves on a rock or on a branch or anything? Yeah, absolutely. But these are animals. These are dynamic things. So there is a lot of people out there that try to make claims that, oh, this is abuse, that's abuse, you know, all of these things are abuse. They've probably gone and flagged videos from Liam. They've probably gone and flagged videos from me, from Wiccans, from Barcheck, from Nerd, from all of these places. And it doesn't really make sense to have our own community trying to argue with our own community. There's been instances on things like Facebook and Discord where people try to report that there is gory content or animal abusive content because there are mammals. 
uh, there is a severe amount of pain right now because LB's trying to climb my leg and I'm wearing shorts. Uh, anyway, uh, so people try to flag this content, get groups removed from Facebook, get people removed from Discord, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. To find out that this wasn't actually, you know, an abusive actor or something along those lines actually kind of shocks me. It seems like it was actually maybe a YouTube auto mod or something along those lines. Uh, but again, I can't say it enough. This is this is the day where hell froze over because I am saying that Liam is innocent. The thing that he did was good and it makes absolutely no sense for this to show up as animal abuse. And it doesn't really make a lot of sense for the way that consumers of some of these videos even say animal abuse. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to make that video. Liam, you still suck, but your video shouldn't have been taken down.